SoFi is gearing up to make some huge updates in 2022, including more competitive interest rates, an updated interface, and even offering some brand new products to their already impressive lineup of incredible financial tools. So today, let's break down every change that is coming up so that you know what to expect from SoFi this year. All right, let's jump right into it. What is going on, everyone? I hope you are all having a fantastic day. So last week, we talked about some huge news that SoFi recently announced and how that impacted SoFi's stock price. But I realized that not everyone is interested in investing in SoFi as a company and simply wants to know what this means for the SoFi platform from a user's perspective. So if you don't yet have SoFi and you'd like to give it a shot, then I will leave a link in the description below where you can sign up and get $50 for free when you do so. So definitely check that out. But let's get started started with some of the major updates that SoFi recently announced. So the first huge piece of news that was announced a few weeks ago is that SoFi finally received regulatory approval for their national banking charter. We looked at the impact that this announcement had on SoFi's stock price in a video last week, but from a user's perspective, this might not seem like that big of a deal, but trust me, it is. As you might already know, up until this point, SoFi was really just a technology company, hence the name SoFi Technologies Incorporated, and they actually partnered partnered with a number of partner banks who were the ones who took care of the backdoor nuances of actually being a banking company. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. And actually a majority of these financial technology companies are set up in the exact same way. However, by receiving their national banking charter, this means that SoFi will not just be providing the flashy user interface and front door technology, but it now actually is the bank behind their own products. But again, you may still be asking, who cares? Well, what this means is SoFi has essentially removed the middleman from the equation because they now no longer have to go through those partner banks in order to access the funds and interest rates that are set and made available by the Federal Reserve. And by removing that middleman, this means that they are able to offer higher interest rates on their banking products and more competitive lower interest rates on their lending products. Not to mention the fact that this also gives them the ability to launch some brand new products that were previously just not available to them, which we'll talk more about in a second. SoFi CEO Anthony Nato said, quote, this incredible milestone elevates our ability to help even more people get their money right and realize their ambitions. With a national bank charter, not only will we be able to lend at even more competitive interest rates and provide our members with high yield interest in checking and savings, it will also enhance our financial products and services to ensure that they efficiently meet the needs of our members, business partners, and communities across the country, while continuing to uphold a high bar of regulatory standards and compliance. There's a lot to unpack there, but the first thing that really sticks out to me is the fact that he said high yield interest on checking and savings. And this is actually the first product that I believe SoFi is gearing up to launch in the coming months. So if you currently have SoFi, then you may already know that the SoFi money account is really just a hybrid platform that is a blend of your checking and savings accounts. And these two things are not separated. Now you do currently have SoFi vaults, which is sort of like a savings account, and that vaults feature is not going anywhere. But based on that statement that I just read you and a blog post from SoFi just a few days ago, it looks like they are gearing up to launch separate checking and savings account products for easy budgeting. Personally, I am a huge fan of this because I already use the SoFi vaults feature as my savings account, but I'm curious what all of you think of this, and let me know down in the comment section below whether you prefer to have a separate checking and savings account, or if you'd rather just keep the two together and have that high account option as well. Regardless of how you feel about that, the other great news that SoFi recently announced just a few days ago is they are already planning to raise interest rates to 1% APY on checking and savings balances when you have direct deposit set up within the app, which again, I'll show you how to do in a second. Now, we've seen interest rates on the checking and savings accounts slowly start to increase over the past few weeks since the Federal Reserve has made it very clear that they do plan on raising interest rates possibly multiple times in in 2022. But again, the fact that SoFi has removed that middleman from the equation and is now able to directly access those interest rates that are set by the Federal Reserve means that they are already taking their 0.25% interest rates all the way up to 1%. And who knows, those rates might continue to rise throughout the year. Now, there are a few important things down in the fine print that I do want to point out in regard to those interest rates. First of all, the 1% APY is only on your first $50,000 in balances. 
However, it does say that you can have a cumulative balance of $150,000 in your SoFi vaults, and all of those funds will also earn 1% APY. And chances are most of us probably fall under those thresholds anyways, so 1% APY on that large amount of money is pretty awesome. Another important thing to keep in mind is that previously, SoFi offered $1.5 million in FDIC insurance because they had multiple partner banks who were each able to offer $250,000 of FDIC insurance. However, since SoFi is now their own bank and they are only one entity, they are only able to offer the standard $250,000 of FDIC insurance. So again, not that big of a deal because it probably doesn't apply to most of us who have less than $250,000 in cash, but just something that I did want to mention. It does also say that members who do not have direct deposit set up will only earn 0.25% on their account balances. So this probably goes without saying, but you definitely want to set up direct deposit through your SoFi accounts for a number of reasons, including earning that higher interest rate. Thankfully, doing this is super easy and can be done right from your smartphone. So let's hop inside my SoFi app and I'll show you exactly how to set up direct deposit in literally a minute. All right, so again, this is super easy. You're just gonna log into the SoFi app and what you wanna do is actually click on the money tab, which is the second tab over at the bottom of the screen. Then from here, you're gonna click the three dots on the right-hand side of the screen, which is the More menu, and all the way at the top, you're gonna to see Direct Deposit. And what this is gonna bring up is your routing and account number for your SoFi Money accounts. And all you have to do from here is either give the routing and account number to your employer by filling out their Direct Deposit form, or you can also click on the Help Me Set Up Direct Deposit button, and you can actually search for your employer if you work for a larger company, and then you can actually just link their payroll system to your SoFi money accounts and get things set up that way. But there we go. It is really just that easy and you're now able to automatically budget your direct deposited funds, get paid early, and earn 1% APY once that update is made available to the public. On SoFi's blog, they do also mention that they'll be adding a new automated savings feature and a better banking and user-friendly interface. So it's a little unclear what exactly that will look like at the moment, but it looks like they're planning on rolling this feature out pretty soon. So definitely keep an eye out for an update to the SoFi app and and again, if you haven't yet signed up for SoFi, be sure to use that link down in the description below and set up direct deposit so that you can take full advantage of all of the fantastic features and updates that are coming this year. That's everything that SoFi has announced for the time being, but their strategic acquisition of Golden Pacific Bank Corp, which is a small local bank in San Francisco that SoFi acquired last year, shows that they are operating in the fast lane for sure. And the fact that they were able to get regulatory approval in such a short period of time is really impressive. And I don't think they're going to take their foot off the gas pedal anytime soon. And they definitely plan on launching some of these new features and possibly other features that they haven't even yet announced. I've said this before, but I would love to see SoFi add a business banking option as well. But again, the sky is really the limit for them at the moment, and I cannot wait to see what SoFi comes up with next. So I'd love to know what you think of these updates and SoFi's new national banking charter down in the comments section below, and what features you would like to see them add going forward. Again, if you do not yet currently have the SoFi platform, then definitely sign up using the link down in the description below to get $50 when you do so. And sometimes they even offer sign up offers for setting up direct deposit. So be sure to take care of that to again, take advantage of all of these new features. And in some cases, depending on what is currently being offered, get some free money by setting up direct deposit as well. As always, if you did get value out of this content and you want to help support me, the easiest way to do that is by checking out some of my favorite financial tools down in the description below. And of course, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more content content like this in the future. As always, thank you so much for your time. I really do appreciate it so much. Take it easy and I'll see you in the next one.